Hey guys, Josh here in the studio with the newest release from Classic Army. But before we jump into all the details and some of the really cool stuff they're planning with this build, let's jump into some shooting footage because I know that's what you guys want to see. Now, as you guys can see, this thing is a blast to shoot, and Classic Army has done a great job with the M134 minigun that they're bringing to the airsoft market. Now, there are a ton of features to cover with this gun. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that they're planning for the future as well. So let's kind of jump into a bit of the talking points of the stuff you guys are gonna wanna know before you decide if you're gonna be picking up your own M134 minigun. Now the first thing you need to know about this minigun is it is an HPA system at heart. And what I mean by that is, is it does utilize a green gas system, but the green gas system is not set up for American style green gas cans. It's set up for the much larger sort of Taiwanese style gas cans that you'll see no pearl is a brand that kind of has those cans uh, and unfortunately it just doesn't work with the american style green gas cans that we have now so uh, you can utilize the green gas system to power it via hpa and what you would simply do is get a longer hose and you would plug it right here into this little adapter in the front. Uh, and that would allow you to basically swap out cans of green gas to power this. Now I don't 100% know the efficiency uh, because it really depends on what can of green gas you have, but for the most part, it is an HPA system at heart and I think that's probably what most of the airsofters that are gonna be purchasing this should utilize. Um, now it does come with a very standard HPA line, so you just need to get your adapter and mount this to an SLP rig. One of the big things about this system is I would recommend you rate it at around 110 PSI on an SLP tank uh, just to kind of keep it around that 450 FPS mark. You can definitely tune it lower and use this in a CQB setting because the actual barrels here are not turned by air, they're actually turned by a battery, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So what that means is you can definitely use this in CQB. So, I mean, using a minigun in CQB, I can't think of anything funner than that. Uh, so that's just a really cool thing to keep in mind. Now, the power system for this gun, like I said, does utilize that HPA system, but the HPA is only shooting your BBs. What's actually powering your barrels is a battery system, and the battery system is housed in this tube right here in front. Now what you do is simply open this door, pop that off, and within here are your batteries as you can see. Now one thing to keep in mind with the Classic Army M134 is the battery situation is wired to Dean's, but that's not a big deal. If you have Dean's batteries, I would recommend using those as that is a great connector type. But if you don't, don't worry, Classic Army has included a Tamiya adapter in there so you can utilize your 11.1 volt lipos. Now as far as battery systems in this goes, it can take up to a 12 volt and a five amp uh, output battery within this, but for the most part, people are gonna be using those 11.1 volt lipos and they'll do just fine in here. Just make sure it fits inside of this tube system and you'll be good to go. Now for all you guys out there that love to tech on your airsoft guns, one of the cool things about the M134, because it's powered via that motor system, means we can swap out a motor and increase our rate of fire. Now stock, the gun comes shooting 38 rounds a second, and that's a BB out of every single barrel as it spins. Now what's really cool is Classic Army is way ahead of us and they're already planning on working on a motor that's gonna increase this to around 48 rounds per second, which I think is just awesome. They're already planning ahead. They know guys wanna take this to the next level, so I just think that's gonna be really cool for you guys out there that love working on your guns. Now speaking of working on your guns, one of the really cool things about this uh, minigun that I have not seen done uh, anywhere else and I think is gonna be really, really cool for you guys that love working on your stuff is these are AEG barrels and buckings and hop-up system. So what that means is you can swap these out and R hop them, increase the barrel length and just get a gun that is shooting phenomenally because it utilizes that HBA system. You can use heavier weight BBs, heavier weight BBs paired with a great barrel and a hop system means you're gonna have some amazing range. Finally, we'll have a gun that actually can shoot very, very far and lay down a lot of rounds down range uh, in a very small package. So for a vehicle or somebody that just really wants to lay a lot of hate down in a certain area, that is gonna be a really cool option for you guys. 
And one of the really cool things is I was in a meeting talking with the guys that designed this thing and they had mentioned to me, hey, we were thinking about possibly adding a tracer unit that's built into the gun. And I was thinking, man, that'd be really awesome. Who doesn't want a tracer unit built into your minigun? Uh, unfortunately, the barrels are not threaded on the outside here, but that could be another option that they would look into potentially uh, and just adding your own tracer units if you wanted to. Now, I do wanna make a couple of mentions about the hop-up system in this gun really quick. So let's cover that. Now, because you can tune each barrel's hop-up individually, you're gonna need to access that. And how you do that is pretty simplistic. There's a door right here. Simply pop off these pins, open that door. And as you can see, as I rotate, there are uh, the markings are right there. You'll see the little hole and it lines up. Simply put your Allen wrench in there. Uh, and I do believe that turning it right will increase the uh, hop up and turning it left uh, counterclockwise will decrease your hop up. Now, one kind of interesting thing to keep in mind is it might be a little difficult to figure out what barrel for what hop up you're tuning at 38 rounds a second. The barrel is spinning quite quickly. Uh, so I might recommend if you are going to try to tune your hop up to a, maybe get like a little marker, not a permanent one, just mark your barrels like, you know, one through four. So you can kind of keep an idea of, uh, you know, what BB is firing where and how that hop up is, uh, hop up is adjusted. So you can tune it a little bit later. So uh, simply pop those brackets back in, put the plate over it and your hop up chamber is sealed and you're good to go. Now in terms of trigger systems for this, it does utilize a very cool looking joystick trigger that has the grip safety on the back here. Simply grip that and pull the trigger and you're gonna be good to go for that 38 rounds a second. Now, as far as I know, you can't spool up the gun and not be firing. So just keep in mind, as soon as you press that trigger, rounds are going down range. Now, one of the cool things about this is they're planning on offering different systems for the back. They're planning on offering the spade style, uh, which I'll show you guys a picture of, which I think is really cool. Uh, and adding that on with uh, uh, what they're planning on working on, which is gonna be a vehicle mount system. Now it's gonna be basically the gun slides into it, bolts down, and you're gonna have a full, uh, you know, movable, shootable gun platform. Uh, and just the fact that they're adding both of those features onto this uh, with the price point that we'll talk about in a little bit, uh, just kind of means that this gun can do a lot of stuff for a lot of different people. You can take it with you and carry it with you and just start hosing guys down range, or you can mount it to a vehicle and have something that is highly maneuverable and overall a very, very cool little form factor. Now, I haven't even touched yet on the ammunition, which I'm sure you guys are saying, Josh, how does this thing feed BBs? Where, where do they go? And I'll tell you right now, they have come up with a great system for this, and I think it's probably one of the best ways to load BBs for miniguns, so let's talk about it right now. Now, the system that's built into the M134 minigun is really cool for your ammo. In front of the barrels here is a cap. You simply unscrew that cap, and as you can see, I basically have a large follower with a spring. I can dump 2,200 rounds into the chamber, insert the spring, tighten it down, and I'm gonna be good to go for all 2,200 rounds. One of the coolest things about this is, is because it feeds basically like a giant mid cap, you're constantly getting pressure on your BB, so you don't have to worry about potentially being sideways, upside down. The gun is just gonna fire in any orientation. You put it in, so you don't have to worry about any feeding issues. And if you've ever shot any mini guns or support weapons, feeding issues are one of those things that are just constantly plagued these weapons that shoot very, very quickly. So the fact that that is on there and it feeds very quickly with this system is just awesome. 2,200 rounds and you're good to go is phenomenal. So I just love the design that they put with this. Now the price point for the Classic Army M134 comes in right at $699. So for right around $700, you're getting a complete package here minus the air tank and stuff that you'll have to sort out. But I just wanna make a couple of points about that because I know uh, the price is a big thing for a lot of people. Now one of the things to keep in mind is a lot of the times uh, when somebody wants to make a support gun weapon, um, it can just really start adding up into the cost range. A lot of the times you'll take a saw, a PKP, something of that nature, and you're gonna drop a polar star unit in there because gearboxes simply just fall apart when you have sustained fire for very long periods of time, and that's what those weapons are built for. So a lot of times people put HPA units into them, and you know, it, it just you end up spending a ton of money to make a very, very viable support weapon. And with something like this that's coming out that's pretty much got everything you need for it ready to go, you just put your tank on it, uh, and you have a very very, very viable support weapon. Uh, just, it kind of makes a lot of sense in the market, I think. Now, one of the cool things about this too is, if you guys have a team and you're on a team and you guys are like, oh man, we would love to build a, a technical and you just don't have the money to spend on a $3,000 minigun, you guys now have options. I mean, this whole package as itself of an HBA tank on a vehicle is gonna just be awesome. And you pair that, like I said, with 
some art hopped barrels, you're gonna have some crazy range and help out your team really with some great suppressing fire. So if you're looking at building a technical, a vehicle for the field, this is awesome. If you're into cosplay and you wanna be a Warhammer 40K you know, Space Marine and you need one of these under your arm to walk around with, hey, I'm sure you could easily modify this to hold on to. So, I mean, just, it's nine pounds, you guys. It's nine pounds and holds 2,200 rounds of ammunition throw an HPA tank on your back and your Terminator for the game. So I think that there's gonna be a lot of people out there that $700 is completely justifiable. There's a lot of people out there that say, hey, I'll just upgrade the gun I got now. And that's totally cool, but it's a minigun. It's, it's a minigun, the barrels spin, it's amazing. Uh, so I'm personally really excited about this. I can't wait to get more time testing it. So I know you guys are gonna have questions about this. Make sure to leave those in the comments below. The ETA for this is somewhere around next month. So we're in April now. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it should be dropping somewhere around May, uh, but we're not 100% sure on the details of that. But if you wanna pre-order this and get those ready, I would highly recommend doing that because I really feel like this system is gonna sell out pretty quickly. Uh, and I definitely know there's gonna be a lot of teams out there looking to get hold of one of these for their group. So with that in mind, ask those questions below. My name is Josh and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.